Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow. Peter's having a peps. Today is like a highly productive but a highly ridiculous day at work. And it's storming. Um, and tonight we're gonna go grocery shopping. So and get some sushi burritos. Yeah. So we're going to go into a little bit more detail about that. <laughs> So I just spent some time making our grocery list. Um, we're really like starting from scratch. It's pretty long, but it's pretty straightforward. So a lot of you commented on a previous video when I had asked about groceries that you would be interested in learning just about how um, we go about grocery shopping. We don't really like budget grocery shopping, but we are aware of how much we're spending. We typically shop at Aldi for big hauls like this because um, the quality of the food is incredible. The pricing is awesome. Um, they typically have everything we need. And if not, we just run to Publix for like specific sauces or things like that. Um, and so hopefully, even if you're not plant-based, this type of strategy will help you grocery shop, um, maybe even inspire you to make a couple of meals that are plant-based. Um, but I always start with like what we have a taste for, um, what sort of meals we haven't had in a while, or just ideas in general. Um, the cool thing about Aldi is that all of, like, maybe not all, but a lot of their produce is pre-packaged with like, instead of being like, oh, I need to buy three zucchini, there's a package that already has three in it. Um, and that sort of allows for then my grocery list to then inspire additional meals. Um, and we'll talk more when we actually bring the groceries home and whatnot. And yeah, I will show you what meals that we are going to have probably over the next week, week and a half, because all of our ideas will have leftovers. And I think that's another big thing that people are interested in is making meals that will last as well. Our goal with the next grocery haul is to not rely on white carbs as much. We used to be really good at that when we were trying to um, conceive our baby and Ever since I've been pregnant, we have been a little bit more lax. So here are the meals that I've planned. Um, one link below is um, a recipe that I don't already have in my toolbox. I kind of like Googled um, an idea, so there's a link to that. And then these two things are just two items that I'm gonna have the ingredients for, for maybe some lunches, or maybe just some things to have in the fridge um, for easy side dishes. So this video won't be like a total nitpick going through our list. I want to upload this to Dropbox so that you can just download the grocery list if you're that interested, which will be linked in the description below. Also below is going to be a new blog post that I'm just about to put up that is going to be a start of a um, basically a reference for any of the recipes that we've shown on the vlog and I'll continue to update whether it's a recipe that I like a video with a recipe where I go step by step or links to recipes that I've used and referenced um, just so you don't have to go through all of our videos to try and find it they'll be in one spot on our website as we left our door to go get some food and go grocery shopping there was a package there Things are about to get crispier. Yes, it's our microphone. This is the brand, this is the type, this is the specs. Look, it's a fancier box than the last time we this ordered This is that. the other specs. It's nice because you don't have to turn it on and off. It doesn't run on batteries. And just pretty basic, but really nice. Here we go, here we go. I always enter the back. Um, because the front is really busy with it being colonial. One second, I always gotta give love to this. 
this wall because it's just so awesome. Disney, DJ, Universal, Volcano Bay, SeaWorld, Lake Eola, Magic, UCF, I4 Eyesore, MCO, Suhai. Well, that took longer than expected, but it's going to be delicious and fresh. Super hungry, and we also got, we each got one of those. And we also got some Adamame made dumplings. What are all those sauces? I don't know. I don't know, but they were delicious last time. I'm excited. That was a... Uh, <sighs> spicy. And falling, filling, yeah, falling, I'm, filling. I'm trying to get this last bit. Um, I can't even talk. <laughs> we gotta go grocery shopping at this, but it's good because like we said last time we went grocery shopping, it's good to not go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. So instead we're gonna go with a terribly full stomach. Gosh. So no extra treats tonight. Um, no thank you. <gasps> you gotta keep that in? <laughs> Sometimes I just have one big hiccup. Instead of getting the hiccups, does anybody else have that? <laughs> we got no time at all. Aldi closes at 8. <laughs> we gotta do this quick. So, usually at Aldi, all of their veggies and fruits are right at the front. Sometimes when you don't even have a list, it's just nice because you just get like some of everything. Um, but we are stocking up for specific recipes. And this will be the bulk of what we buy, actually. Okay, so we are home and unloaded, but I put everything on the counter so I can show you what we got and kind of do a little bit of explaining, not too um, much in depth because I'll obviously vlog when I cook. Um, but we spent like a hundred, I wanna say in like $130 which I know last time I talked about our haul being like $50 and it lasting us for a long time. We did get a couple of things that you typically would just already have like some spices and vinegar and sauces and things like that. Um, but again, we were really focusing on making intentional side dishes, intentional meals. Um, and so it's easy, it's easy typically just to have rice or pasta on the side. Um, and so I'm really excited to make a lot of good, yummy food. Um, the good thing about being plant-based is that a lot of the ingredients are super fresh. So we'll see how it goes if we end up having to freeze anything or not. Honestly, I think we should be fine with everything I want to make. Um, so yeah, let me get to showing you. So we got a sweet and then a savory um, milk option. Most of what's over here is for snacks or lunches during the day. Bread, tomatoes, Peter's been eating oatmeal. The cereal is for me. Got two heads of cauliflower for two different types of wings that I'm gonna make, as well as hummus and this Hope Ranch dip for dipping those and for snick snacking other, otherwise. Peter uses the hummus on his wraps. The main veggies will use peppers, zucchini, tomatoes, mushrooms, they have specific meals, but they can also just be good for different veggie sides. Same with the cans, tomatoes, beans. Going to try and get either a quinoa or a bean for good protein in every meal I cook. Veggie stock, vinegar, buffalo, those are all things that we were just out of. So if we do have any sort of grain, it will be quinoa. This is good just to have in your fridge to make, to throw in a salad or to have as a side and quick spunk it up. We also got a bunch of stuff for salads, um, asparagus. I've actually never cooked asparagus, but this was Peter's request, so we'll see what happens with that. I also am going to try a cabbage recipe, like a mustard cabbage recipe that I saw on Instagram. Um, so that's that. I've, again, I've never cooked cabbage except for St. Patrick's Day. And we got lemons and limes, apples, bananas, pineapples for the fruit. I don't have anything planned for the potatoes, but it is always just good to have. Again, we're trying to steer clear of um, the white carbs, but they are good just to have in a pinch. 
So here is a, a big box of spring mix. I'm gonna try and make a salad with every meal that we have. And then lastly, these veggie burgers are really only meat alternative. Um, I'm gonna actually just probably stir fry the, this up with some veggies instead of putting it on a burger bun. Then Peter got some coffee and I got my kombucha. I've had a couple of people reach out and let me know that kombucha is fermented and that it does have an alcohol content, um, which I should be aware of being pregnant. Um, and I did already know that I'm very conscious of what brands I buy and the, the alcohol content in it. And I've already talked to my doctor about drinking it. I really only drink like this much in a cup a day. It is really, really good for digestion. And if you know about pregnancy that is really affected, um, I mean, your baby's just taking up all sorts of room. So it really does help me. And it's yummy. I make it into like a little vacation drink. So don't worry. I don't drink a lot. I just drink like this much. What is our one thing we don't like about Aldi though? All the plastic. Yeah, I wish that it could just be. I feel like they were getting better and then they got worse with COVID. Yeah. I think they were like trying to be safe about things. Yeah, so maybe, maybe it's we'll just go back. a moment. Oh gosh. Whoa. Ferocious. Oh gosh. One, two, three, go. Oh, naughty. Bye. All right, so I'm setting up my computer to do what I what it does every night because the guy who on my team who usually does it during the week, I'm giving him the whole week off plus the weekend because he covered it last week for me. Um, but we're actually gonna watch Sleepless in Seattle, which for two people who love a good Tom Hanks movie and who also love a good sappy love story, uh, we've actually never seen it. Um, I've also been looking at apartments in Chicago, <laughs> just for fun. There's some beautiful ones on State Street and Michigan Avenue. Um, just a kicker, just, Seen the market on that. I've also looked up vans and mini houses that you could pick up and move if we wanted to go to Colorado. Um, also was looking at house rentals in Windermere in Florida because right now markets are going crazy right now with everything going on. So just thought I'd throw that curveball at all you. Make your minds go crazy and think about these things. Um, but we're going to enjoy this love. This hopefully good movie i hope it's good i forgot like movies back in the day like the 80 like 70s until like early 2000s like movies were sub two hours and like i just can't stand that you go before the 70s they're like four hours long you go past the 2010s they're four hours long i like that i don't like this Not 40 year four, like... i'm just exaggerating but like pre-60s the movies were two hours or longer and nowadays they're two hours or longer what's this short attention span everybody had in the 70s the 2000s Really long clip. I'm not sorry. Sleep is in Seattle. Really good movie. And uh, I lost Sarah about 45 minutes ago. She snoozed in the boob. Sleeping on the couch last night till 4.30 meant a, a rough night's sleep for all of us, including Eve. She's underneath the table over there. Sarah's over there. You all know I don't sleep well, so I'm wide awake considering it's only 11. But I'm going to rewatch some of these episodes from Down to Earth, the Zac Efron. Netflix series because I was like busy when we were watching the first time. I might eat me an apple, drink me a big glass of water. And I decided with everything going crazy with our schedule and vacation and Chicago marathon ending that tomorrow's vlog, I'm going to create kind of my own running regimen slash workout regimen and kind of piggyback on us like revamping our our food and our planned dinners to be more whole food based that i'm going to get back into drinking a ton of water eating a lot more fruits and veggies and going to run and i'm going to combine my father-in-law's adage going for a quick 5k and what i tell myself and what i tell anybody who talks to running uh 
who talks to me about running, my thing is always consistency to go out and just do it. Whether it's one miles, 10 miles, 50 miles, whatever it is, just go out and be consistent. And that has been what my downfall has been for the past two months. And I can feel it and I can see it and I miss my running regimen. So I'm going to get back into that. I'm going to make my own and I'll go over that in tomorrow's vlog. But it starts tomorrow. No day, but today, Newsies. No other way, no day but today. I think that's right. I don't know. I'm going to eat this apple. Watch some Zac Efron. Um, because Greatest Showman, High School Musical. What else did Zac Efron do? Alright, it's way later than I wanted it to be. So I guess I'll sign off. But here is... Um, Winnie the Pooh, swaddled, my first swaddle attempt, just for some fun in this earlier, but he's looking pretty cozy, I think. Alright, what is even today's date? July 28th. Today is the 20th. I feel like I haven't done this in forever. Today's message is by the man, the myth, the legend, Paul Walker. You know, all that really matters is that the people you love are happy and healthy. Everything else is just sprinkles on a Sunday. All right, thank you for hanging out with us today and our very, like, just resetting our, our week and our life at post-vacation. Um, tomorrow should be a little bit more fun and exciting. Hopefully work goes swimmingly. Um, a lot of meetings, but after work will be fun. Thank you, guys. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.